This has been kind of a bad year for Hollywood. We've talked about Indiana Jones. This thing is not doing well. A lot of movies have pretty much flopped at the box office, especially when you look at this list, you would think some of these would have been bigger. Guardians of the Galaxy, barely making money, but it is making money. That one is a hit. Asteroid City, I don't know anything about that movie. I don't know anything about this Teenage Kraken movie, but this one flopped. The Flash, that movie, actually, we'll talk about in a second. Little Mermaid, failed. Transformers, Rise of the Beasts. I hear it's an okay movie, actually, but to be honest, it's not really raking in massive amounts of money. Uh, No Hard Feelings, I don't think that one's really blowing doors off either, though it probably doesn't need to, considering I think the budget is really small for it. Still $40 I think, is the budget. So it's almost at budget level, but you have to keep in mind only half that money goes to the theaters. And they still had marketing. So that movie might flop too. Uh, Across the Spider-Verse, doing good. That movie is actually doing good, kind of like Guardians of the Galaxy. So now we're at two successful movies. Little Mermaid, a flop. That movie, as you know, did not do well internationally. Elemental is a flop. Dial of Destiny is a flop. Tons of box office disasters. This has been a bad year for Hollywood. You think it would have been a good year because when you looked at the movies coming out this summer, a couple of months months ago, uh, many of us were thinking it was going to be a big year because, well, it's a it's a packed box office. One of the problems is these movies have cannibalized each other. There's just too many big movies that came out close. I think that is a factor. Uh, there are too many big movies that came out close to each other. Uh, but I also think it's quality and the messaging and people staying stupid things. There's a lot of factors. But regardless, in the end of the Jones and the Dial of Destiny, flopped. The Flash is so bad, they're about to yank it out of theaters so that they can just put it on digital. This thing and Indiana Jones are two big budget failures. Uh, studios have lost massive amounts of money, and, yeah, it, it's it's bad. Terrible legs, 61% drop uh, versus Quantum Mania. That's bad. Green Lantern. Negative 66.3%. Uh, it's doing better. It's doing worse than that movie. It may finally cross $100 million. Uh, For Sunday, that was this past Sunday. Damn. Damn, that's bad. Yeah, it's getting a digital release after 30 days. That is embarrassing. So a lot of flops. And... I think everyone's looking at Tom Cruise now to once again save Hollywood. And it looks like he might. So early reviews are up two weeks early, actually, because this movie doesn't come out for another two weeks. It comes out two Saturdays from now, at least here in the States. I don't know if that's going to change, but the release date for this movie is Wednesday, July 12th. And I don't know what it's tracking my guess is it'll probably make up to 120, 120 million first weekend in North America. And then I think it'll also probably pull a large amount of money globally. I was curious to how it was performing, though, like with critics. I, this just popped up today. So the embargo is up. And this is kind of the common theme Dead Reckoning Part One. Tom Cruise amps up the electrifying action, but story is strictly secondary. I mean, look at all the clips for this movie. It's him jumping on planes. There's literally a clip of him glued to an aircraft, and he holds on to it while it ascends into the sky. (laughs) Like This is wild shit. Think of Top Gun of him riding around in those jets so he could get authentic shots. Like, this guy is wild. This is why I call him the last movie star. Uh, He's had some dumb stuff that he's done before, but lately, you know, for the past five or six years, 
The only time you hear about Tom Cruise is when he's doing crazy stunts. Like he's totally dedicated to trying to turn things around. I, I, I can't help but not respect it. You never hear about him saying, well, nonsense anymore. It's literally just him talking about how he loves movies and wants people to come see his shit. So, I mean, that is a nice, that is a nice thing compared to other celebrities. But the critic score as of right now is surprisingly 98%, 97 off top critics. Now, I don't put too much weight into what they say. I am always curious, though, because sometimes they go off the wall, but it seems like for this movie they like it. I predict the audience score will actually be up there the same. This will be one of the rare occasions, I think, you see critics and audiences on the same page. There's only two rotten reviews, actually. I was kind of surprised, and they they just didn't like it because they felt it was clobbered together, but that's two versus uh, 33. In fact, I think it changed. Oh, wait, no, it didn't. If you go to top, if you go to all critics, there's two rotten and then 83 fresh. More people will add to this as time goes on, but I can't see it dropping much further. I think you know what you're getting with this movie. I think you know what you're getting, right? You're getting an action-packed Mission Impossible movie. What is this, the eighth one or the seventh one? I mean, there's a lot of these movies. The reason that movies like this keep making money is they have a formula. It works. They keep delivering it. It's the same thing with Fast and the Furious. That franchise isn't that popular over here in the States anymore, but worldwide that thing makes massive massive amounts of money. And I would imagine this one is probably going to set a franchise record because this dude has been out there just talking nonstop about how much fun he wants people to have it at cinemas. Uh, this one is actually going to get me to go to the movie theaters to see it. I'm actually looking forward to watching this movie. And... Uh, it's it's nice to look forward to a movie. <laughs> so 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 many bad ones. So this one I actually think buck the trend. Will it make Top Gun two money though? That's a real question. I don't know. I don't know. It's so hard to predict these things because this one might flop too. But I don't think it will. I think this one will do really good actually. And a little bit of hope for the future of entertainment. I didn't make a video on this, but I thought I would throw it in here. Uh, top DEI execs from Disney to Netflix exit. Uh, these are the diversity executives for a lot of these studios. Warner, I think that one's gone. Uh, quite a few of them are out. Maybe things are, are uh, changing. I mean, Hollywood has lost a shitload of money over the past couple of uh, years. So, we'll see. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this. I'd like to hear from you. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.